What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build this working Lego printer and photocopier. First I'll demonstrate the photocopier function. So for that you're going to need a document that you want to copy and then just open up the photocopy tray on the side and insert your document and then close it up so that the printer knows what to copy. And then when you're ready to print, just press the button on the front of the printer and your document is printed. And you can see it's printed out an exact copy of the original. You can also print out directly from a computer. So just plug the printer into the computer. We're going to be printing out a screenshot of the desktop. So select your screenshot and once again, just press the button on the front of the printer to print out a screenshot of your computer. So this is a great little design for a printer. It's nice and compact and is a perfect addition to any of your Lego offices or businesses. So let's take a look at what you're going to need to build it. Here's everything you're going to need to build your working Lego printer. And once you've cut your pieces, we can start with a 2x6 plate and we'll need to attach two 1x2 plates on either end of this. So then we can attach a 2x2 tile next to the one on the left and a 1x2 tile on the right. And in between this gap, this is where we can take a regular 1x1 brick and just place it like that. Then your two other normal 1x1 bricks, they can go on opposite ends of the printer. So then behind those, this is where you can place your 1x1s with the bar attachments. That will be what holds the rubber band for the printing mechanism. And then we can build up this height to be the same with a corner plate, one of the two by two ones. Then on this level, we can place our four one by one bricks with the stud attachment on the side. And they can both go facing opposite directions. They go on top of this corner plate, just like that. So then on the front, you can just fill in this side with a two by two or a two by four tile that creates the gap where the paper will come out of. And the other side can be filled in with a one by four plate and a one by two plate with the bar attachment. And we can go back to the other side and this is where we will attach a 1x2 plate with the bar on the end that will hold the lid for the photocopying tray and a 1x2 tile just next to that. So then we can put this aside for now while we build the lid of the photocopying tray. So this is nice and simple, just a regular 1x2 two high window piece, a 1x2 clip plate and a one by two plate with a slot on the end, just to build up some of the height. Then that can be clipped onto this piece. We will secure that in place a little bit later so that won't fall apart. But then we can build the lid to the paper tray. So this is using a one by two clip plate, a two by two slope and a one by two slot plate. And that can go on this bar in the middle. And you'll see there's gaps on either side. So we're going to want to fill those in with some one by one bricks and some one by two slope plates. It's very symmetrical, this part of the build. But I think that still looks very cool. So then we're almost done with the printer. Let's just open up the paper tray for now and we'll build the actual tray part that slides the paper in and out of the printer. So this will use a one by three plate, then a one by four tile on top of that, and a one by two tile to fill in the gap next to that. Then we can build up the height for this. That's very important with a one by one plate. And this whole tray can be slid through the printer. You're gonna wanna make sure that's nice and loose, that it slides freely. And another thing you want to watch out for is that this one by four tile isn't bent too far inwards. 
but it's actually a little bit more outwards. So you'll see this a bit better with the gap on the side. See it's better if it's this way. That way the mechanism will be a whole lot more reliable. So then you can slide that back in and just play around with that until that fits and that slides nice and freely. Last thing that we need to do is attach a rubber band. This is a Technic 4x4 rubber band. I'm sure any other rubber bands of a similar size will work just as well. So now you can see how the mechanism works. Basically you slide it back by pressing the button, the paper falls down and you release the button for this to slide back and push the paper out of the slot in the front. So that simulates the printing mechanism. And just for some troubleshooting, if this is a little bit tight, just grab the pieces and free them up a little bit because that will make it a whole lot more smoother and a bit more springy. And now that your working LEGO printer is complete, all that's left to do is to test it out. So to load it up, just open up the tray and this is where you can insert your printed or stickered 2x2 LEGO tiles. You'll see there's quite a bit of space to stack lots of paper pieces so you can print out many times in one go. And then to print out, it's nice and simple as you saw at the start, you just press the button and your document is printed out. So if you enjoyed building your working Lego printer and photocopier, be sure to give this video a like, let me know what you thought of this design in the comments and subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out my other working Lego how to build videos just like this one. I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.